Okay, morning folks, Bino and Black. There's going to be a lot of information and a lot of videos because basically you have to go back to the last two videos and let's go to, I just want you to see this, this is how damn far this is away so we're really safe, okay? And it's a star, but what we did find, okay, 1.2 mass of the sun, so it's bigger than the sun, okay? So pay attention and remember that because I'm going to show you Jupiter right now that the idea then in if you pay attention to my notations too, I'll show you that in a second. Basically, what I'm saying is Kerasoft implanted the date of the 10th on my worldwide telescope in my video. You see, you upload your video and they can play around with your video. Okay? So, what they did is they put the 10th so that anybody looks at my footage, they're going to go, well, that's not the footage from 924 at 620 AM UTC. And yes, it is. Because you can put that in worldwide telescope and you will see the same objects in the sky out in space that you would see if you were down there at this Antarctica at Nehemiah Station, okay, looking north on September 24th. And this is basically what I'm going to show you where Jupiter was at. So it's not Jupiter, okay? And it wasn't the moon either because the moon was in the west, okay? And there's Jupiter in the east and they're up higher, okay? So when you see that footage, which is below down here, okay, when you go to my videos, both the one before Hercules Dwarf, because more than likely it's something in the Hercules area, okay, and Hercules means, you know, Hercules, huge, okay. So the actual factual is, I'll go here on the deal, and so we won't have, we shouldn't have player issues. I think I should be able to, uh, and yeah, I can queue up and go from here. And we'll let this load, but basically you're going to see that we have absolutely, there it is, we have absolutely found the dwarf, okay? That'll exit out, and you will see it, and then the windmill and everything, and there it is. We have found absolutely it, and that's out of the video, and see, that's what I'm saying is the footage, all this stuff will stay the same. Jupiter is not there. And I'm talking louder because right now in my ears, I'm hearing me, and I'll kind of pull my earphones back, and I apologize for any microphone deflection. And see, they implanted the 10th in here, and I wasn't playing, and they applied the 10th, okay, right there. If you back that footage up, you will see that they put the 10th in there and messed with the date. Over supervised with control, and basically I know SCADA. And basically, if anybody's ever worked at a, uh, any business that's got computer, has some kind of a books network or something like that that's real secure, your computer override person, when you have a computer problem, they will get on the telephone with you from whatever office and wherever you're at with your computer, laptop, or anywhere in the world, they'll go, you're entering this wrong and stuff like that, or you're having problems and issues and we'll help you out. They can control your screen, okay? Because <clears throat> you can have somebody who's your head computer guru techno uh, get all your tech support at your business or something that you're at and they will probably sometimes take over your computer and go well I'm gonna take it for a minute and let me take your screen okay so right there when they put down I wasn't messing with the date I already right here here it is they messed with the date I pointed up there the date and then they opened it up and they put the 10th in there because I actually have, if you go ahead and check the footage, I have 924, okay? The actual footage from Nehemiah on the 24th. And if you go and input and put in everything there that you need to put in, I should be able to blow this up. If you put in your correct date of the 24th here, I didn't put the 10th, okay? And I can actually going to go to my Worldwide Telescope right now. I will pop back down out of this and go into my Worldwide Telescope. And now they can play games too. They could be right now. They could go ahead and turn. And now I'm looking at, you got to keep an eye at the volcano too because I did show in the video, uh, the one before the video that I'm showing you. And there it is. I got the 924th. And basically from last night, I've had it on a real sl slow play. I haven't even messed with it. I just left it up. And it's going through time that what you would see. And it's in a real slow mode as you see the seconds going by. So basically I've had 15 hours and 22 past has played on the screen from 924 when I originally put my date in and my UTC time and everything like that, which would not be this because I put in the uh, nine, uh, the 620, excuse me, 
0620 UTC time and started playing to see what was in the sky. And you will see the same stuff. Now, this is going to be different here, I believe, a little bit because the idea that what it's showing is what is ever is in the sky at 15, 22, 37. And possibly this is what is in the sky right now down there, okay? At this time, UTC again, okay? Today. Because this is basically Worldwide Observer live sky. Okay, so now I'm not talking over my voice. I can put my headphones back on. I apologize for any brushing on the mic. So basically, you can actually factually see that Kerasoft or Override something went in. Now, let's take a look at what's going on on the camera there. That's what you got for light propagation and live feed of the... Uh, and the ticker's not, so the idea that there could be some interesting action going on at... And uh, as you see this light propagation here, you get like a good hologram of the supergiants here a little bit, as you can see right there. And... The actual factual is right now the live feed from Japan is stuck at 22.55.32. So now this is the one I did for the information after I found it last night when I was videotaping. Okay, so let me go up here and I'll show you. We'll pop in and I go to my video manager and we'll give you, we should be able to, and I'll give you, this is the one that I was taping. And at the very end of it, I show you the dwarf because I was studying and showing you what's going on in the Hawaii footage, the webcams. Now these are all webcams to so anybody that's new that's in. We go to these webcams, a lot of people have. Uh, Dutch Sense is a good uh, area where a lot of people, space science and so forth and so on. Sheila Alien, she actually believes in UFOs. Bino Black doesn't. I would skin a, uh, an alien and put it in a museum and become richer than hell. Now, there's been a lot of people put comments in today, which is great. And what I did is I put the in there to let people know. Uh, yeah, they're watching me. I ain't scared of anybody watching me. I got a lot of... I love the U.S. military. Let's put it that way. My dad was a big service person, did real good, and everybody in the family is pretty much served. I'm the only one that hasn't been in the military. I'm the oil field brat, okay? So let's put it this way. We got this down here, which was great information, and I want to thank the person down there. You can say that, whatever, however, denote that off of who that person is. I'll zoom it up a little bit here. We'll get up to like 200 real fast. I'll scoot over, and then you can see. And... They're smart asses that they don't understand. Blah, blah, blah. But anyway, they're blah, blah, blah. Now all of a sudden we've got a new. And so I put that in. And like I say, I put the information and showed you that basically it wasn't Jupiter on the Worldwide Telescope. So basically we straight out have found it. Now Gamma Segeti was there and it has some very off-stated rules that it does some weird stuff over there. Okay. South of Cygnus. Okay. So it's a very interesting area. Uh Gamma Segeti star, I think I put that in there because I was spelling it wrong. It's that far away. There's your data on that. It's 4100K. So it's a cooling off. I believe that's a little bit cooler than the sun or it's about the same. Now, it's in the sun and the supergiants, like I've told you. The supergiants are there. The supergiants are this big sequence like this. And then the main sequence, the alley. Okay. And then the sun and Alaraf are about right here. Okay. So that's a lot of the stuff that's going on. And then the video footage of the one that I... Like I was showing you, uh, we'll go back here and I come up and I will give you, this is the one I put the information for finding it on it and then I got a queue up here, hang on. Now Americans in the world pretty much short tension span theory real fast. The black objects in the sky, remnants or whatever, or black light. Okay, black light is getting to be a very big thing, and I got Delaware's University and stuff like that. We'll have some more technical stuff on black light from space and stuff like that. Now, you'll have a little bit of footage from Japan in here that won't have the date, time, and the clock, but last night I showed a little footage on this one when I did it, okay, because I threw it in. I was able to pop over to it. On this one here is where I ended up at the very end of it. I'm showing you all the stuff in Hawaii to begin with of making my dialogue on that, what the hell is going on, and then at the very end, and then this shows it blinking, and then also if you go down to this video, and I appreciate it, here the comment, and don't worry about anything, I got a lot of friends in low places, and a lot of places in between, and a lot of places in big spots, okay, so don't worry about Bino, Bino's doing just fine, uh, I want to uh, thank uh, everybody in the U.S. military that's ever served, I love you, all right, so now, what we're looking at here on, uh, the video I was going to show you that the actual factual that we caught it blinking, okay, is at the beginning of this one when I was doing the stuff in Hawaii. And the blinking is, is you get it from this footage here that if you go and watch this video, I got the Sechi, well, that's why we love the U.S. government, U.S. Air Force, Army, Navy, everything that has satellites in the sky, the Marines, you got satellites, everybody's got a satellite, right? Got to have everybody pretty much close to equal. But 
actual factual of the Navy. We love it. The sketchy footage that we get here. And basically, you can play this video and you will see that the idea that it does end up. As a matter of fact, if you just watch my little cursor here, I think you can look watch the little block, which basically, I guess, it's, it's players. They're going to be messing around, not wanting you to see a bunch of stuff that's actual factual. But you go to this video, and if you can get it to play good enough and you're not getting disturbed, you will see the sketchy footage where the idea that pretty much matches the uh, sun blinking in the morning. And that's why I've always had my name, Beano Black. We don't want the sun to go black. We don't want to go black. Okay, no sun. The dark ages, folks. It's history. They call it the dark ages for a reason. And yes, there may there was probably the black plague and everything like that. But who actually pulled some religious crap or something and pulled uh, what I'm trying to talk and explain to everybody when you're watching uh, the video from when I found the Herc. Okay, the dwarf red blue down there at Nehemiah yesterday at the very end of this video. Okay, the very end of it. I'm talking about all this stuff here that basically someone could pull off some kind of BS, okay, by making holograms in the sky and that, oh, here comes God again or whatever. Believe me, when God comes again, I went over my handlebars on my motorcycle at over 100 miles an hour and I asked for Jesus to save my ass because I need some more time with my kids and possibly my grandkids. You know what I'm saying? Life is too short. Well, I'm still flipping here and I should have been dead. I had a diesel coming up my ass in my rearview mirror, okay? So there is miraculous things that do happen and I am pretty much somewhat... At the same time, I'm a freak because I am basically atheist in a sense because I am a scientific person. I'm an electrician, okay? I could make you think that you are hearing voices. I could do all kinds of stuff to you. The PSYOPs people, I love you guys, U.S. military in around the world, and the idea that uh, pretty much just about anybody with a lot of tech can make anybody look like an idiot, okay? I.e. the subliminable uh, inserting from SCADA override. SCADA stands for Supervised Control and Data Acquisition. In the actual factual, they did change the date on so that when someone looks at the footage that I'm showing, it's shown it to be looking like the 10th, okay? Well, it's not the 10th, and I apologize for talking loud because I stopped my video here, but it started up, and it's just a glitch. I'm sure it's going to be top touching my... Okay, but it's not, and it's... There you go. Okay, it's not the 9 10th date, it's the 9 24. The footage that I show you in the video is the idea that there's nothing there. Jupiter's not there. I showed you that also by just looking at this. Jupiter is not there. It's not the moon because the moon was in the west. Okay, and so no matter what, it wasn't Jupiter and it wasn't the moon. Okay, because they were both east and west. Okay, they were out of the picture, they weren't there. That footage on that video is absolutely correct, and also the sky, World Wide Telescope sky, okay? But the, forget about that date, 9-10. Kerasoft imposed that to try to make disinformation to make everything look like it's a hoax, okay? Who is pulling a hoax? That's what I'm wanting to know. Because so no matter what, if you go there, it wasn't Jupiter, because there's the sun in the hole. <coughs> and if you check the World Wide Telescope on the exact date, the 9 2012, just yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, it will end up showing you that the actual factual, the sun's here, and if you go to the footage, and you, I mean, you go to Worldwide Telescope, the sun is over here on its track line. You'll end up seeing the sun. It's way over here to the east, okay, farther, and there's nothing over here because absolutely correctly, Jupiter's not there. The moon wasn't there either. The sun's in the well in the hole, and there you go. There's Mercury, Mars. In Earth, and at that time that I put in, I've computed it, and we do not have absolutely anything down there because at 620 UTC, this is what was down there. The moon was way off to the west, okay, and it was down there, and that was absolutely see how high the moon would be. And if you're at the South Pole, it's up high to the west, it's absolutely wasn't there, okay. And I showed you to the north. We seen that object in the north, straight dead on, dead south, Antarctica at Nehemiah Station. All right? So make sure you watch the videos because to get the, the truth across, folks, it takes all these videos because I was just innocently taping it, found it at the end of this one. It's in this one, and the information in the, in the telescope is correct, but the date they cares off screwed with it, PSYOPs. It's not the military side. I love PSYOPs on the, on the military. Karasov military, I love you to death. Civilian, kiss my white honky ass. Okay, here, this one here will give you the blinking because it will give you the sketchy information that matches this. 
Okay, so that's what's going on out there, folks. This will give you the information, that big blink right there.